Well, hi friends, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. And today I would like to show you a new set of activities that I have been working very diligently on to create, to use with toddlers or very early preschoolers. I'm calling this group of activities Lots for Tots and I'm going to be adding many more of activities to it. So today I'm showing you the first words activities and after these activities I'm going to have seasonal holiday activities, activities that work on action words, activities that work on transportation words, animals, and other bonus activities that I come up with later on. So I have many, many coming. I wanna show you the first few. And these activities uh, work on vocabulary and speech, matching, sequencing, sorting, and then print and letter recognition. So let's get right into it so you can see exactly what I am talking about. All right, so I'm gonna take the very first set here. This is the first set of activities and these work on, it's called My First Words. And as you can see, it's going to work on these four words, fish, car, apple, and ball. So what you wanna do with these activities. What I did is I laminated them and then I added Velcro pieces to them so that when you take them on and off, the children won't lose the pieces. So you don't have to do that, I just did that. Now I do recommend laminating them because if you don't, when you're working with such little children, they may uh, ruin the, the paper. All right, so you can also print them on cardstock to make the paper thicker. I did not, but that's um, just an option that you might want to do. Okay, so what I actually did is I took all of the activities that work on these four words and I laminated all of them and then I put them in, on, book, on a book ring. So I got three book rings here, as you can see, and I put them on book rings. Now you could also just use a binder and that would work fine as well. All right, so this is the cover. The first page, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be working on vocabulary. So you're going to say, fish, fish, can you find the fish? And they're gonna look through their cards and they're going to try to match up the fish. Ball, ball, let's find the ball, ball. Now I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna be using these activities with my one-year-old, my two-year-old, and my special needs preschooler who is four. Um, now, even though he's four, these are gonna be great for him because he is working on pronunciation. So he knows all these words. He can say uh, fish when he sees it, or ball, or car, or apple. He knows nouns very well, but he does not pronounce them clearly. So with him, I'm going to be working more on, we're gonna be matching up the, the pictures, but we're going to be working on the pronunciation of the words. So if you have a child working on speech, these are, these are great activities for working on speech as well. All right, so moving on. So the first page, you want them to match up the pieces. You can also, if you uh, happen to have laying around your house, if you can find little objects that would match up with the pieces, that would be another good thing to bring into this. And I happen to have them. I have a little apple here. I have a little um, toy car, a little soft little fish, and a soft little ball. And so after we match up the pieces, then we're going to also try to match up our objects as well. And we will say the words, car, car, apple, apple, fish. Where's that fish, fish? You can even do the signs. If you know any of American Sign Language, uh, this is the sign for fish. And then you could do the sign for ball and so on. So that's just another you know, fun way you can make it interactive. All right, so moving on, the next page presents the same words, but they have the, uh, the word written on each piece. Now, I love this. Some, some people say, oh, you shouldn't introduce um, words or letters yet because they're too young. I don't think so. I think that having them see print is a great way for their little brains to get going to realize that, oh, these letters on here mean something. 
these letters, this, this here means ball. When mama points to it and says ball, ball, it means ball, that they're making a connection, that letters mean something. So again, they're going to match the pieces up. Car, where's car? Car, you can even start pointing out the letters. C, A, R, car, fish, fish, find the fish, apple, apple, find the apple. They can match them up, they can use their little pieces again. These activities are also really great for special needs children, I'll just tell you that. All right, so the next uh, page here that I created does not have matching pieces because what you're gonna do is you're going to use this page with your letter manipulatives. You can use whatever you want. I have here an example. I have a couple examples. I'm gonna show you this one. These are little alphabet blocks. They're nice and big. I really like these. It's an, a Melissa and Doug set. And so what you can do is we're focusing on the first letter and we're focusing on the sound of it. So we're going to say fish, fish. Do you see the fish? Look, F, F for fish. Can you find F? And you can have them look through their blocks and find the F and then match it up. F, F for fish. These blocks are great. It's, there's capital on one side and lowercase on the other. So they can go ahead and match it up with their blocks. You can do the same for car. And you can do the same for apple. And you can do the same for ball. All right, so I'm excited to do this activity with my kiddos as well. All right, so moving on then. And again, you can make this as difficult or as easy as you want. If you are working with a one-year-old, you may just want to stick to matching up the pictures, like I was saying, and working on some vocabulary. And then you can move on to the subsequent pages as you, uh, your child gets a little bit older or your students, if you're working you know, with a, with a, a toddler or a preschool class. Uh, as the students progress, you can progress farther on in the book. So I have some activities that are a little bit harder for more of a two -year, my, more of my two-year-old pace and some that are a little bit easier more for my one-year-old. All right, and I think these are great. I think it's, it's just as wonderful as reading you know, a book to your children. And in fact, it's more interactive than that. All right, the next page has the letters missing. So they're going to have to put the letters there that are missing. And so this would obviously require a little bit more um, developmental level, but it, I think it's great to have it in there and you can move up as, you, as it's needed. So uh, here's another example of just some letters, whoops, that I think are great for this age. This is a little alphabet, um, I don't know, I guess that's Elmo. We don't watch Sesame Street, but I bought it anyways because I love the, the letters that it comes with. And uh, we don't have, we don't watch a whole lot of um, television except for uh, we do, there are a few kids shows on YouTube that the kids like, but otherwise we don't watch a whole lot of, a lot of shows. So um, my, <laughs> my little ones don't know who Elmo is. However, um, this is a great set, a great set of letters. I love these letters. So what we're going to do is then we match it up. And so they have to find, um, now you could even, if they don't know what it is, you could tell them. So fish, F is for fish. Can you find F? Now once they know their letters, then hopefully they can take out the letter and they'll place it on their page here. So F for fish and then C, C is for car. Can you find C? C is for car. And again, they're, they're matching up the missing letter. Now these ones only come in capital letters, but you can get another set that might have lowercase letters. In fact, let me show you another set I have here. And I have so many different sets of, of letter manipulatives that we use, but I just pulled out a few. This set is uh, alphabet letters from puzzles. So these pieces are from a little puzzle and I have the capital and the lowercase letters in here. And so if I wanted to use those, I would probably have them use the lowercase. And then again, they just set them there. If you have uh, magnetic letters, it works the same way. So there we go. So you get the idea. All right. Now, Again, you can have them match up the pictures, so the objects to the pictures. 
Matching is a really great cognitive skill that the kids need to know, little ones need to know. It helps out later on with math and with all sorts of different skills. So matching is important. And moving on from matching, the next set of pages kind of increases their knowledge from there and they're gonna work here on sequencing. So putting the pictures in sequence. And while they're sequencing, they're still also practicing the vocabulary and all those wonderful things that they were practicing before. They're just, they're just um, going to go a little bit deeper. All right, so I'm trying to get, get this to where there's not a glare for you guys. All right, hopefully that's a little better. Okay, so you're gonna take the pieces off. You're gonna cut out the pieces again. I used Velcro, you don't have to. And then basically they're just going to match up the pattern so they're going to as they match it up they're going to say fish car fish car and the same thing down here now this the top pattern is an a b a b pattern and the bottom pattern is a a b b and they're going to match them up ball ball good job apple apple Ball, ball, apple, apple. All right, so just matching up the pieces and working on some simple sequencing. Then you can take your pieces off if you want and make some more sequences over to the side if you want and ha have them make, make their own sequences if they want. All right, so that's that one. Um, so start, But starting out with just matching them up and doing the sequences would be great. And then the last one is sorting. So, and I'm sorry about the, the glare, I don't know. It's just the way the, the lights are in this room. I apologize for that. But this one, again, I have all the pieces here. And what you do is you, you mix them all up and then they have to sort the pieces. You get the idea, I'm taking them off. Take them off. And then they have to sort. So again, you're still working on vocabulary you're still working on the words but you're also now working on a wonderful math skill of sorting Let's see if i can move here and you won't have a glare there that's much better okay so then again they're going to sort the pieces all the cars go here i would mix them all up on the side and then as they're sorting them they have to say the word car apple fish fish goes here um ball ball goes here apple we're gonna put all the cars together all the apples together all the balls together now notice i'm doing them like upside down that's something you could talk about if they put the fish upside down you could say let's turn the fish turn so you're introducing another word to their vocabulary you want to repeat it again and again turn 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 fish you want to simplify your words as much as you can so that the children really can focus on the words that you're wanting them to say. So especially if you're working on a child that's really not talking a whole lot yet, you wanna simplify. So you're gonna say, apple, apple, turn, apple, turn, turn the apple. Good, turn apple. And then um, for ball, put ball on, ball on, ball on. So you're wanting to work on the word ball, but then you can also incorporate some of our other prepositions like on and off. Let's take them off, take it off, take apple off. So you can incorporate the word off and on, turn, um, up or down and up. All of those wonderful prepositions are, are great for when you're sorting or even when you're um, just doing the basic, putting, putting the basic pieces on. You could talk about, you know, let's take it off, take the apple off 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 apple now put the apple on on apple good put the apple on now take apple off I, I realize i'm repeating a lot to you but this is how they learn and so if you want to add in a couple of new terms for them besides just these basic nouns that's a way to do it is you can add in some of those prepositions on off turn up down um okay let's turn the page turn the page and so on all right okay and so i'm just gonna really quick since you get the idea this next one is exactly the same but it works on a different set of words all right this one is my first words and it works on 
bear house train and shoes and again I went around my house and I found some examples so I found some little shoes from a uh, Mr. Potato Head set and I found a little house from a puzzle and I found a bear and I found a little choo-choo train that we had so again using the objects is great as well as using the pieces that go with it so it, it's exactly the same. They're just gonna match up, you know, and they're gonna say the words. With my, with my special needs preschooler, we're gonna work on pronunciation of the words and really trying to get the, get the sounds right. So again, they're, the pieces are exactly the same. Each page is the same. They're gonna work on matching the letters. They're gonna work on the missing letters. They're gonna work on the sequencing and they're gonna work on sorting. So that is how these ones are laid out. Again, I'm going to have different categories of activities coming up. I'll leave links below in the description box of this video if you're interested in these. I thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any other questions, I'll leave it below. Thanks, bye.